All right, this is Miss Kaylin with a quick overview of the sun. Um, we talked about the different layers of the sun, including the photosphere, which is usually about 6,000 degrees Celsius. It is considered the surface of the sun, and it, it gives that a uh, yellow appearance. So here it is. You can see a picture of it. Then we talked about your um, chromosphere, which is about 4,000 degrees Celsius, and it's got this reddish uh, color to it. We also went over, well, you can see the reddish tint, right? Kind of like down here at the bottom. Uh, your corona is what I, what I say uh, is two a million degrees Celsius, something that we can even pretty much re relate to. And it's only seen during a solar eclipse. So here is a picture of it. You can see it all the way around here. Uh, we talked about sunspots. Here's a picture on the sun of it, the darker spots here. They're dark areas. They're darker than the surrounding areas. And they vary over 11-year cycle. And it's usually a drop in temperature due to that. They're a lot cooler. Here you go. Here's another picture in the sun and the arrow pointing to the sun spots. Here's another one as well. Then we talked about um, some gases that actually come out. And the reason why we, do, we don't have to worry about these solar flares is because of the magnetic field that we have around Earth. Please don't forget about that. That's the reason why we're still living here on Earth. So our solar flares are this outward eruption of electric, electrically charged atoms, as you can see here. And they do in, interfere with phone and TV and radio reception. But like I said, due to the fact that we have this magnetic field around us, it pretty much gets anything that comes toward us kind of, kind of goes around us, as you can say. Um, make sure you look up a picture of that magnetic field. Also, we talked about solar winds. You can see a picture of that. It's, a lot of people um, love these lights and they go to see them. Don't forget that there's a difference between fusion and fission. Remember that fusion is what the sun does and that it takes hydrogen atoms and turns them into helium atoms and that is how we get our energy from the sun. Fission is what we humans do for like nuclear warfare.